that come before um, you have a son and, and you need to have a child. Okay, so everyone needs to know me before I have my son. So <laughs> my writing was a bit <laughs> over the top, I used to write uh, or just anything very openly and anyhowly. Um, there's, there's some stories, please don't bring them up here. <laughs> But then after I had a child, there was uh, this uh, need to change my style of writing in terms of tone. Just say what you need to say, but not in a way that you, when he grows up, he gets embarrassed by it. So basically, say whatever came before was before you do, after you had changed my way. <laughs> I became, I, I wrote about the things that, uh, that were important to me, but I did that would uh, most importantly create an archive for you for uh, the type of life I live. So tell my own stories to my fiction. For example, this um, summer is based on my experience wow. growing up as a teenager and a young adult in the 90s. So there are not many stories about the 90s. No, no one writes fiction about the 90s. It's like we skipped. We went from the boogie ages and then now we came to the millennial, millennial time. So there's really not much written about, there's not much documenting of, of the 90s in fiction. So that's the music we had, the uh, kind of clothes we wore, the language we used, uh, the community we had at that stage. And so this, when I started writing uh, summer, I was going to a thing good in a very in a professional setting. So it took me back to how we were bullied in the nineties oh. and how we, we dealt with it. That was that was the thing because if you're bullied in school you go home and then you find a completely different community and setting that would sort of give you the strength to go back um, to go back to school the next day and face that bully and not be and not be bothered but these days everyone with their phones, we don't go out to talk, we don't huddle up in spaces to play basketball, we don't listen to music the way we used to. We used to listen to music on the radio and we wait for late night to hear the vacation and hoping, oh my god, I hope someone <laughs> sends me a song. I hope someone is thinking of me, you have a crush on someone, you're like, everyone else's crush is sending invitations to them on, 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 on radio and not getting any and that was just how radio used to communicate feeling like if a couple was fighting you know by the, the presenter would say okay so today this is a regular caller today they are sending this they dedicating this type of song to their person so must be trouble in paradise and stuff so the 90s was a really good time for us we had we played outside and friendships were across the region like uh, People took care of each other, big brothers, uh, small brothers, like everyone knew where everyone was. We didn't have mobile phones, but we could find each other. Um, phone boots, letters, um, giving love letters where you caught this person on the at a certain time of the day and crossing your fingers as they find it. So that, that type of memory that I haven't seen documented, so I was like, let's, let's, let's bring it back. And, yeah. Thank you. 